Hey fans, well thank you so much for watching today's awesome vlog. Curious on what I'm doing today. I want to give you a little warning, should I say. If you're going to plan on washing your computer case in a dishwasher, make sure you don't use the wrong type of detergent because you might actually destroy the finish of the case itself. Definitely the black, uh, should I say. But if you're curious why I have gloves on, I will show you why, because I have less of the computer components and parts on the dresser over on that side. But let's go ahead and show you the actual case itself. Okay, here is the case itself. This is a very generic type of case. I don't know what company who made this case because it's very generic, uh, should I say. But I do got some parts of here. But I don't know what this part is. Can anybody tell me what this thing is? Because this i never seen before in any of my computers I have built. But I don't know what this is for. For some type of fan or something like that. Or built a uh, speaker here, external speaker. Couple of thumb screws and some screws in that bottle over there. But let's get on to the actual case itself, uh, should I say. It does have the cutout for your uh, DVD drives. It does have actual three of them. And it looks like it has two uh, 3.5 hard drive bay suspension slots. But it's actually only one of them. You can put a SD card wheel there if you want to. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this case. I don't know if I'm going to put any new parts in it right now or any time soon. But basically, you kind of see there's USB 2, headphone, and also microphone ports, uh, jacks right there. But I don't know what I'm going to do with this case right now, uh, should I say. It does have two LED lights, your power LED and your hard drive activity light. It does have the power switch right there, and a reset switch itself. But here's what happens when you put your side panel in a dishwasher. You kind of notice it will actually destroy the coating and the paint on the side panel itself. And then this happened on this one. I actually destroyed both of the side panels by washing the nicotine tall and the Paco off of this case. And you kind of notice, kind of destroyed. And this actually does support three uh, 90 fans, should I say, 90 millimeter fans uh, on this type of case. Alright, here is the back of it. Here is basically where your power supply will go. Your standard uh, IO shield will go there. Seven suspension slots. Two 90 mil uh, fans, uh, should I say. Let's go ahead and pull the side panel off. Kind of see this is a very flimsy case. And this is what the case looks like on the inside. What should I do with this case? Should I even bother to fix it, put new computer parts inside of it? Or basically let's get rid of this whole case completely. But you're gonna say, Chris, what happened to all of the original computer components inside this case? I will show you that in one second. Okay, we have USB, basically all your standard type of connectors right here, power switch, reset switch, uh, hard drive LED, and power on switch, these cables right there, and some type of old audio uh, jack, I don't know if this is actually going to work for anything with the newer motherboards. I don't know, but like I said, be fair warned if you're going to put your side panels in a dishwasher, you might actually destroy your side panels itself. But let's go and slowly paint them on this side. Here is everything was inside of that computer case itself. Here is your power supply some type of connector for the motherboard, Molex, one SATA cable connector, non-Molex, CPU power, 
and the motherboard itself here is the three fans uh, DVD drive, hard drive, IED, SATA, because this is a SATA drive, should I say. And we got a trap load of crappy fans. And here is the motherboard. This is a very outdated motherboard. This is AMD. There is the MSI motherboard. I don't know what type of AMD processor this has on this motherboard. This has uh, DDR2 sticks of RAM. I think this is total of eight, not 100% sure. But the problem is with this cooling fan is this fan is kind of broken. It doesn't spin, pretty dusty. Now, let's talk about this very crappy power supply. You know, your favorite mustard and stuff like that. Uh, cable, so. Look at this thing. <laughs> this thing is such a crappy power supply. It's only 400 watts, but that's still a crappy power supply completely. Oh, it's very interesting. This actually has two fans, one there and one on the bottom. And it does have AC in and a power switch. Kind of interesting. So you kind of notice, you're going to say, Chris, why does it look like not like a normal power supply? But this is a normal power supply. The only problem is, is it's covered in tall nicotine and smoke. Should I say? And this is everything inside this case. I don't know what to do with all of this crap because I want it. But there you go, guys and girls. Be curious on why I say warning if you plan on washing your casing, your dishwasher will be very careful, should I say. Alright, if you guys and girls are supporting this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please show. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. And have a nice day. And thank you for watching. And I'm sorry if this video was too long. Alright, catch you in the next one.